going on everybody? I'm Brian, the Meat Racks Beekeeper. So, what am I doing today? I don't know. Forgot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was going to check. Well, I'm going to remove honey. And, I mean, remove honey. I want to remove honey from my long hives. So I figured I'd bring you along because I have no clue how many frames of honey I'm going to have with it. And it's my first year. So I thought I'd bring you along and, you know, for my first year with long hives, how much honey am I going to get? So I bought these hives from somebody from a while back this or this year. And both of them were doing really good. One left. And then I made a massive split. Got that one going again. And then it's been doing good ever since. Even with the split queen, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. I am going to find out how much honey I got on there. On both of them. A uh, little update. I asked a question a while back about split queens. Do you have to replace them in Florida? Because in Florida law, you have to replace queens. Uh, no, you don't. My bee inspector was here. And I said, hey, do I have to replace this one? He goes, no. He's like, all your other queens are good, right? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, they probably mated with one of the, your drones, so you're good. I'm like, hmm. All right, so there you go. If you're in Florida, you do a split in your own bee yard, you don't have to replace your queen. Sweet. Unless he's wrong. That would suck. But anyway, uh, before I get started, hit that subscribe button. I am so close to 1,000 subscribers. That would be fantastic. It'd be exciting, you know? If I hit 1,000. Yeah! Almost there. I'm almost at 700, which is great. Happy. So I am going to remove all the honey, and it's going to be a robbing mess. I can guarantee it. It happens to me all the time in September. So there we go. Let me get ready. See you in a minute. All right. I need to make a holder for my smoker on this thing. It'd be pretty sweet. Uh, let's put this here. Okay. Uh, where is my hive tool? Thought I had it on me. Uh, you know, one day I'm going to become, or I'm going to be prepared. <laughs> Probably not. All right, Hive Tool, where'd you go? There you are. <sighs> yep. Still made it in there, huh? Now, how many times I blocked that off? They still make it inside this over here. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Jeez. Let me bring you in here so you can look. Look at the amount of bees in this hive. She's full. great this is the one that survived from when I bought the high from that guy 
Bring it to the down a little bit. All right. Bring it over here. So yeah, this one was the... Yeah, this is the one that survived. Not the split. We're ready. I hope I'm not getting them mixed up. But I think I'm right. I think I'm right. All right. This one's got a lot of honey. But not done yet. Oh! This one's packed full of honey. And it's about... I would say 60% or so. I am going to take it anyway because I have a dehumidifier that I use. And after I extract everything, I check all my honey for the moisture content. And if it needs it, I will run my dehumidifier and put all my honey in my closet. My wife loves it. She does. I'm going to tell you different. And you know it's ready when you shake it like that and none of the stuff comes out. You know it's good. I need my brush. All right, I got a lid here to help cut down on the bees. And lightly brush them off really makes them mad. They love it actually. Get up there. Okay. Why are you not going? Whatever. Okay. Okay. I'll just drop that. Next. Woo! Yep, another full one. So there's two. Oh man, that's almost all the way full. Or capped, I mean, sorry. I'm going to try to do this in a little bit of a hurry because all those neighboring hives love coming over at this time of the day when I'm doing this. All right, another good one. There's three. Still seeing drones. Up north, that's kind of rare this time of the year. I think you all start losing your drones right about now, right? And there's another one. Four. Hi, Beetle. Ooh, another good one. See, I'm not going to worry about that. Gosh, I got drone cells in there. That's great. That's just great. Mm-hmm. It'll be just fine. Yay. I'm going to leave this one for them. Just because they're going to need some. Come on. Move over. Alright, looks like Got some brood here. Oh, nope. Yep, both. Wow, that's a lot of honey, too. Yeah, I can't use that. Alright. Is that it? 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. Let me check. Do real quick check here. Nope. They finally drew this. They finally built one of these uh, combs out that I put in here. Yep. All right, this is. Let's get down over here now. Get the frame one. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be for them. I don't have to worry about leaving a whole lot of honey for them like you all do up north because we really don't have a winter. And we're about to get into Brazilian pepper season, which they will pack this thing quite a bit of honey with Brazilian pepper honey. Oh, yeah, I might take this one, though. Yeah. I am going to take this one. Oh, here comes the robbing. A little bit starting over here. Okay, so let me get this frame right here. Let's see, that one, no. Let's see, one. Two. Let me make sure here. Gosh, this needs to move too. Where am I going to put you? Okay, put this one over here too. Why did you all put honey there? Yeah, brood and honey. Ah, right, here's where the brood starts. Brood chamber starting. Yep. Wow, start over here a little bit. All right, that gets good. Whew. That just made you a lot smaller, huh? All right, let me close her up. Oh boy, here we go. You know, you, you don't need to see this part. What's up, Ozzy? Old Oz coming to see what I'm doing. 
If you're new to my channel, that's Ozzy. He's my one-eyed cat. He likes to come over here and supervise what I'm doing. What's up, buddy? Ozzy! Yeah, ignore me. Of course. That's what he does best. All right. Let's continue on here. Oh, hi, ants. I missed ya. I missed all you ants, yeah. Nope, I didn't. <sighs> it's not their fault, it's mine. I have not greased the legs yet for some reason. Bye-bye. Yeah, I should just keep this brush with me this whole time. This makes ant removal easy. I don't know what that was. All right, let's do this. A little bit of smoke, but not too much. Woo! I need to cover this up. Oh, yeah. They're finding it. How did you all make it over here again? I really need to figure something out. Well, I mean, I'm going to figure something out. I'm not going to figure anything out. I just like to say that. So I like to think I would, but I won't. What is going on in here? Why are y'all coming by to there? Yeah, let me check my camera, make sure everything's good still. Yeah. I'm blocking you. Thought so. Alrighty. Well, let me bring you in this one. Check it out. This one is even bigger than the other one. And this was my split. This hive is massive. It's huge. Yeah, there is not one level spot on my ground. Sorry. Takes me a minute to find a good spot. I'm sure I'm going to get stung here soon because, you know, like I said before, my veil broke. <sighs> hey, eyes. He acts like I'm not even here, you know? How rude! <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a little building on this one. That's good. Keep it up! So, this one looks like we don't wax it very good. <laughs> they did not draw it out down here. You can feel it's dry. No wax, but still got honey on it. I'll use it. Sorry, girls. I know I'm stealing your stuff. There's two. All right. I mean, that's almost, yeah, that's fine. That's better.
Hey, there's two frames out of this one. Oh, this is heavy. They didn't cap it all. I notice here in Florida, they don't cap it as easily as they do all the other. Not easily. It's early, I guess. It's humid, humid here. It's the only thing I could think of. It is. It's very humid here. It's nine. Nine total, sorry. Huh? How many did I take out of that last one? Just three out of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. Six out of that one. Three out of this one. Eh, whatever. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Why are you not fitting in here? How did I do that? I mean, help. What is going on here? All right, there you go. All right, stand by. I got to put this in my lawnmower. Oh, this is going to be so heavy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This hive here is probably like, what is going on up there? Wow. Very nice. This hive is going to be so crowded. Oh, it's not going to be good. Definitely have to give them some of these back. But so far, they're calm. No stains. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. Sir, I just squished a bee with my hand. Ah, that's full. But I want to take it. I know. If you have a dehumidifier, don't be worried about it. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't take it if it was pouring out. Definitely would not take it then. <clears throat> All right, so are we getting into the brood now? There's nothing on this one. No? Yeah, we're getting a little bit of brood here. Yeah, bird. Okay. How many was that? I lost count. Four, five, six, seven. Wow. All right, just like the last one, I'm going to go zip through these real quick and make sure there's no more like in between here. Yeah, keep an eye on the weather. Got 70% chance of rain today. All right, I'm 
me bring this closer. There you go. Boy, they are making some noise. What is going on over here? Why is all the fanning? Gosh, if you could hear these girls. Would you stop coming to the top? Seriously? Did I just get stung? No. Yeah, these are all brood. Alright, I want to go to the end. I'm going to skip through and just go straight to the end here. I know, so I was going to check in between, make sure it's the random, you know, honey frame, but it's not looking like it. I like to leave them at least two or three frames. Gosh, this one is not a whole lot going on in this guy. Hey, right, what's with the queen cell? Okay, it's not so. All right, practice cup. Ah, brood already, huh? Wow. That's a lot of brood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, 12 frames of brood. Eh, all right, whatever. Okay, I think I'm done. I need to squeeze these together. Can you let me do that, girls? Oh, come on. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, they're not going to like this being crammed up. Uh, how am I going to do this? I got to close that entrance off. Crap. They are not going to be happy with that. Or should I just not worry about it? Hmm. The odds of me actually getting frames out here early... Before they start building on everything else, it's pretty slim. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyway. I guess I'll just have to remember I gotta get out here immediately and put frames in there. Because, honestly, I'm not going to put anything. I'm not even going to block it off. But I am going to close it up. This is crazy. Look at all the bees. They're just crammed in there. I am going to leave a little gap right there just because when I'm done, you know, spinning it out the frames, I'm just going to hurt and put them right back in there. As long as I remember to do that. All right. So there you go. 13 frames for a first year longhives. Yeah. Sure. Not bad. Uh, no queen excluder. That's good. Uh, well, got a lot of work to do here. I'm probably not going to video it. I'll probably do a short video of all the robbing going on because I guarantee that's going to be happening. 
<sighs> I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, I had my bee inspector here a couple weeks ago, and I had one hive that was just absolutely angry. So hopefully, hopefully that uh, doesn't happen again today. I'll probably start over there, away from that hive. Anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching. And like I said, you know, hit that subscribe button. If you're still watching us, hit it. Might as well. It's free. Anyway, uh, until next time. See ya.